Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Happy holidays, best wishes to you and your family. And if I don't speak to you again till the new year, happy new year as well. Uh, today we're going to talk about Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey, which is a Netflix original film. Now, I don't know if this film has anything, any sort of backstory to it. I believe it's very much a modern story in a way. Like it's very much newly written like it's a brand new story that has never been told before i have not really seen anything that's kind of like it or even heard of anything that's like it and i enjoyed it i i enjoyed the hell out of it i think this is a great film and i think you should watch it if you're looking for something new and unique for christmas like this is a very much and it's not even 100 percent a christmas movie and i know it being that it says a christmas journey it kind of gives you the perspective that it is a christmas movie but it's really not. It's got a different plot to it that just kind of takes place around Christmas. And this kind of links to a video that I made on YouTube. Uh, if you want, you can go check that out. It's called 12 Movies That Are Based Around Christmas, but that aren't about Christmas. And this movie made that list. Now, granted, it does have Christmas in the name. It does give you the perspective that it is about Christmas. But none of the music is about Christmas. None of the storyline actually relates to it being the fact that it's Christmas. It just so happens that it's the holiday season in the atmosphere. That doesn't take away from the story, though. It is still a very good story. Uh, I'm going to butcher the character's name, but the character's name is Geronicus Jangle, which is, you know, unique. It's got a lot of funny little quirky things like that. You know, like he has magic where he can see these formulas that are like the the square root of spectacular is impossible or something like that it, it's a lot of fun to kind of see it progress and you get the idea of what it is they're trying to do in the universe they're creating and it's got a fantastic cast i mean forrest whitaker keegan michael key uh ricky martin ricky martin like what is ricky martin doing in here i don't know but he's in here now it's a fantastic story. It's about this guy who's a toy maker and he tries to be a an inventor. He wants to be a very well-renowned inventor and toy maker. He creates this genius toy with a genius formula, but the toy turns on him and turns one of his uh, up-and-coming, like his apprentice, turns his apprentice against him. That apprentice takes the toy and his book of ideas and goes and turns them and makes them his own. So he steals all the ideas from this guy and creates an empire. And this kind of leads the main character, uh, Jangle, down this road of like depression and defeat. And he loses his kind of magic touch that he can make toys and be creative. And then his toy shop, his inventor shop, kind of it turns into a pawn shop. And that's really upsetting to see to see him kind of go down that kind of row, and um, it's it's got some really tragic elements. He, he his granddaughter comes to visit him thirty years later, which kind of tries to reinvigorate this life in him. It kind of brings life back into him to see his granddaughter, or his granddaughter trying to like force him out of the funk that he's been in for thirty years. The music is fantastic. Now. Me and my wife, we relate the music a lot to The Greatest Showman. Now, when The Greatest Showman was released, it has its own following. It has a lot of mixed reviews. To anyone who liked The Greatest Showman, you're going to like this film. All right, It definitely fills that void that you want to fill when it comes to wanting more of what The Greatest Showman is. I know there's been talks about a, re uh, a sequel to The Greatest Showman. I know there's talks about uh, remaking it for Broadway. But there hasn't really been anything yet after that. And The Greatest Showman is a really, really good movie. Especially if you don't mind musicals. This is really great. And I'm going to tell you, when I first started watching this and all the music starts and you see all these no-name actors kind of take the screen by storm and they're doing such a good job. And that's what, they're no-names to me because I don't know a lot of them. Maybe they're big in like the music industry or the musical industry or the Broadway industry. I'm not 100% sure, but they're new to me, and they do such a fantastic job. Uh, the little girl who plays the granddaughter, uh, Madeline Mills, I think this is one of her first films. Uh, and another little key thing, her name in the movie is Journey. So, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey, you know, kind of a play, but, you know, what do I know? But it's cute. And she's a good actress. She's not credited for much. I believe she's kind of just breaking onto the scene. 
And she does a fantastic job. I think she's going to be a great actress as she gets older and as she gets more roles like this, especially if she sticks with the the kind of musical aspect because she does have a really good singing voice. I don't know how old she is. I think she's 12 years old, 13 years old. When was she born? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Let's look up when she was born. And, of course, it's got all these other actors, Keegan-Michael Key, which if you don't know, he can sing. A lot of people don't know that because they don't see him singing in that fashion. I'm going to tell you right now, and this is just for me knowing that he can do um, uh, Whose Line. If you watch Whose Lines in any way, he sings on Whose Lines in any way, so you know he's got a singing voice and he's able to um, do do this kind of role. So he really breaks out into it. Uh, the character of Ricky Martin, um, he does pretty good. You don't notice it's him. You got to look up who – I'm not going to tell you who he is if you don't recognize him. But he's in there. He does great because, of course, Ricky Martin is a singer. And um, Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker coming out of nowhere with a ballad – Blew my mind. Like, I know that he's probably really big in, like, the the theatrics. I know he was probably a big theater actor before he broke out onto the movie scene years ago. So he probably has that theater background that I don't know about. And watching him sing in this film is mind-blowing. And I'm not saying he's, like, going to win American Idol. Like, he's not going to beat out Whitney Houston in a high-pitch contest. But he's got a good voice. Like, I would have never expected that. From Forrest Whitaker, of all people? And I wasn't too shocked. Like, again, I'll go back to The Greatest Showman. When I saw Hugh Jackman start singing, I knew he had a theater background. I don't know if Forrest Whitaker does or doesn't. If he doesn't, and he's just been hiding this really deep, very country-esque kind of mellow-sounding voice that just really kind of surprises you out of nowhere... Like, it makes me think that maybe I could sing one day. That's what it's like. It like, makes me think that my raspy, unwanted voice can actually be a singer someday. I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. But Forrest Whitaker singing blows my mind. So if you just want to watch this to watch Forrest, Whit Forrest Whitaker have his own little singing ballad, by all means, watch it for that. It's totally worth it just for that fact. <laughs> But it is a good film, and it does deserve some recognition for being a really good Christmas movie that's unique. Um, I haven't really seen many unique films. They're all kind of just retellings. It's another Santa story or another Christmas tale of some kind, of some adversity. You're trying to get home for Christmas, trying to buy something for Christmas. You know, it's it's just this thing where because it's so unique, it lends itself to be to stand out from anything else that's not doing anything like what it's doing. And the, the robot's cute. There's a robot in it. He's cute. You know, it gives you the kind of short circuit feel if you look at the cover or the trailer. It, I guess there's this thing where they, like, do testing with audiences, and they say, which robot looks better? And for some reason, they always go for these flat-headed, wide-eyed like robots. Like, if you look at Wally, -E, or you look at Short Circuit, or you look at any... Uh, Earth Echo, you look at any robot that's meant to be kid-friendly, 95% of the time, they have flat-like heads and big round eyes. For some reason, that just screams innocence in a way. And so it does kind of remind me of that, so I get that. But, like, the robot doesn't play a huge role. It's cute, though. It is cute. It does, it does kind of add to the story because it's what the story is about. The story is about the, the magic of inventing and the magic that this family kind of has for their inventions. And again, I just, I can't say enough. The music's great. Like I watched this a couple of days ago, me and me and my wife, we went out to go see Christmas lights in our area and we were blasting the soundtrack. Like I've added all the things we could be listening to. We're blasting the jingle jangle soundtrack. Like it's really good music. And that might be why I'm kind of drawn to it as well. Again, I, it takes a lot for me to like a musical, but once I once you have me hooked, once you're a musical that has me hooked, it's really difficult to me to get off it. I still listen to The Greatest Showman to this day, and now I'm going to listen to Jingle Jangle. And the reason why I don't feel weird about listening to Jingle Jangle, say, outside of Christmas, is because it's not a Christmas movie. I mean, it really, if you really go down to the brass tacks of it all, it's... 
really not. Like, none of the music has a Christmas theme to it. It's very much just music that's based around the story. And, again, it's very good. It's very well orchestrated. It's very well choreographed. The dancing is very aggressive. Very aggressive. Go in there expecting to see these dancers really give it their all as if somebody dared them that they couldn't dance. Like, it's really, really aggressive dancing. Uh, but this is a really fun movie, and I think you guys should watch it if you're looking for something nice to watch. Something family-friendly that's a very nice story. A very nice story for the Christmas time. Alright guys, thanks again for coming to the channel. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.